the depth of your defensive line has been so much a part of who you guys are, and I know a lot of defensive line coaches talk about it, and then it doesn't happen. Right. Uh, why was it able to happen with your group? Well, I think leadership. I think we've got some good upperclassmen that demand of the young guys to to buy into the process of how we're preparing week in and week out, daily. And you know, there is a leap of faith a little bit with young guys. You got to put them out there. Like for example, Jason Adamiola makes a ton of mistakes in practice, but when he gets in in the games, he does a really nice job. And so you got to be able to trust that. You know, Tuesday's practice after a long day of school, after maybe an exam or something, has a little weight on it rather than wake up on Saturday morning, all you're thinking about is football and all you're thinking about is the opponent. It's going to be a little. It's going to look a little different. So a little bit of it is 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 confidence that you're going to get out of them what what you anticipate getting out of them. And, um, but you know the depth has been huge for us. We play ten guys, you know, normally on a, on a, on a normal game, and and that's been great, especially towards the end of the season when you know you play a game against USC and you got to leave some guys out there a little longer. They're not worn out, you know, like Jerry Tillery, Ade, or um, Julian Acora, Khalid. You know, the season hasn't taken its toll on those guys because they don't have they haven't accumulated 800, 900 snaps for the whole season. How did you get them to buy into this concept? Was it easy? Was it difficult? Uh, well, when I moved back to D-line, nobody wanted to go 4-8 again. Okay. <laughs> you know, so you don't want to look at the past, but in order to know where you want to go, you got to actually draw upon those experiences. And and so, you know, I, I just showed them, you know, I think we do a great job of showing the guys what they need to do a better job of. And then, to me, the biggest thing about being a football coach is, the teaching and, and coaching of it, but then also demanding and holding them accountable to it on a daily basis. 